we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed I believe in the preaching of the Word of God it is still the power of God that liberates and it sets free if the son therefore shall set you free you will be free indeed so we began discussing grudges and this evening we will continue bearing grudge we have defined bitterness as seeds of resentment in the heart so bitterness is a seed of resentment or anger in the heart of man in the inner man in the hidden man but I want to say that even though this seed may be in the hidden man so it is hidden but it is just temporary. And so we will discuss that shortly. So don't allow the enemy to influence you to nest a grudge against anyone. Don't allow the devil to influence you to keep seeds of anger in your heart. It is dangerously evil. You, you need to dread these seeds of resentment because of the harm these germs can cause. These seeds of resentment, they destroy nations. They destroy institutions. They destroy relationships. They carry marriages and throw them on the rocks. See, tiny as these seeds may seem to be, they are powerful weapons in the hands of Satan. And last week we said, give no space to the devil. If you give him some space, he will take advantage of that and destroy you. See, one day when Satan said to God that, see, you have made a hedge of protection around Job, and God said, oh, just go. Destroy all that he has. And then when he was done, he said, Satan came back again. And then he says that, if you like, let me touch his body with sickness. God knowing what the devil could do. Said that this deal is about touching his flesh. Don't go beyond that and touch you so. And what children said down for way, and he said, Oh, don't sabbat can you pay your share? And one found some can cry. He destroys. So don't give him space. See, it is wonderful the way seeds grow. See, little by little. Yet steadily and quietly, seeds grow. Seeds grow well when they are nurtured. You see, viable seeds have the potential to propagate, to multiply, to reproduce whether of plants origin or of seeds of discord or bitterness like we are discussing. Now last week, we appealed to the parable of the sower to throw some light on how seeds grow. 
na sene ni yedi nkomo efa ogufo no kogu aba no ho na yedi kiremu se nia abai etumi nyini empo ewo yakoma ani enkra mu i would like to shed some more light on the importance of handling these seeds of resentments carefully me pese me kiremu kakra se ne be ya obe hu hia hia se obehwe hu ye e wosa aba e fre no awonwino abai hu by considering another parable na ye hwe ebebu fofro ne yedi akiremu the parable of the master seed na we the parable of the mustard seed. So turn with me to Mark chapter 4. I'll read from verse 30 through 32. Again he said, What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. It is a snappy abafwa would be an offema a ye abaf udwa a was a si su nina mukitwa. Now verse thirty two says that yet when planted it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that the bears can perch in a shade. So what are the principles of growth here? We see the master seed as the smallest seed. Now when you have a seed or a grain of, of maize in your hands, it is just seed. You can boil it and cook it, use it for banku, just seed. Yet, it has great potential. When planted, so the next thing is that when you have a seed and you plant it, the woman is a bio say, Oh, Abba, no, yeah. The potential in the sea then can be realized. If it is not planted, the potential will not manifest. When we say plant, we are saying that give it some space on the ground. And don't give it that space on the ground. And somehow, when the Bible talks about ground, he's referring to the human heart. Now, the third point is that then it grows. It grows when you give it favorable conditions. Then, it becomes the largest of garden plants. Then with big branches. And the branches serve as resting places for all sorts of bears. So this is a, a seed Becoming a plant attracting bears. You didn't plant bed. But now you are attracting bears. But it started as a seed. The smallest of them. It was planted. It grew. Became a large tree. Big branches. And attracted bears. The progression would never have happened. 
Unless there was some concentration given to the seed planted. See, when neglected, the seed or the seedling will die. And then the progression will truncate. What am I trying to say? The level of attention or concentration given to a bitter feeling within will determine the outcome. Now, let me take that again. Otherwise, you can read what is on the screen. The level of attention or concentration given to a bitter feeling or given to bitter feelings within would determine the outcome. Now, the chapter 4. Again. This time we will take it from verse 21. Mark 4 from 21. He said to them, Do you bring in a lamb to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? Now, say one say what the cania basse, what the best cra and now and pass it, and yes, what the basic cania be as so. For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. Now, Bibiara. Bibiara ni kukwema, wadu nyi nwadiye, anase, wadiye hunta, eri nwadiye. If anyone has ears to hear, let them hear. Se, ubi wasu, beti ya, manu ntiye. But the big one, 24. If you know, ena ino. You see, the verse 23 is saying that if you have ears to hear, hear. Edi yonu miya sana, se, ubi wasu, beti ya, ontiye. But 24 says that, consider carefully what you hear. He continued, with the measure you use, it will be measured to you even more. See, it will be measured to you should have been okay, but it can go even beyond the measure you used. Then, look at verse 25. What whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what they have, will be taken away from them. Now, what is Jesus trying to say in respect to seeds? Whatever is hidden. Is meant to be disclosed. So we started by saying that these seeds of resentment are in the inner man, the hidden man. But Jesus is saying that whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed. Now, whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. So today you may be having some seeds of resentment. You may think that nobody knows. Uh, it is just little. But the fact is, it is meant to come out into the open. You ask women when they take seeds. Some of them, they don't want anybody to know that they are pregnant. They wear dresses and they'll try to harm for how long? I told you, I know what you mean. Tell me that no one best will be ample. Every who say, be a see, oh, when you're from the moon, what you sent, I can see, yeah, dear. Soon you see the tummy like that. And so, and check, Ubu, not a flourish, I see a basso. Even if it will stay like this, then no problem. But something will come out. My home is one day, whatever is conceived. Will come out. Now, Odin Sabon said, Nadachi, if you are dear now, a hintano, 
You see, I had a first boy, second boy. And then when my wife fell pregnant, uh, we were expecting a girl. And then the doctor initially said, oh, you are going to have a girl. So we were excited and we didn't, I mean, so we were thanking God and buying uh, girls dresses. Yeah, me say and one day my wife said she was going for labor so may the Lord be with you and that crow me you call and say oh then later on I called I feel you so how is it? And I realized that the voice was not as I was expecting. He says that it's okay, I've given birth. Say, oh, so our baby girl is finally in. She didn't sound exciting as I, but she didn't uh, actually respond. So I decided to drive to the hospital. I saw this verse of this boy. The thing was hidden. We didn't know what was on the inside. And then we were buying girls' clothes. Then this guy came with some beard. <laughs> What is hidden is meant to be disclosed. If you have ears, he says here. That he gave us two years. Hearing is very important. Even James says that be swift to hear. But the master says that be careful what you hear. Why? Because with the measure you use, with the attention or concentration you give to what you are hearing, it will be measured to you even more. Hello, this is Dr. Ajay Kumar. 